Hey guys, Keith again with Bulletproof RC. And this is a follow-up video for my low seating rock ray. Now in my first video, I did a quick backyard bash. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys what it'll do actually on the rocks. And um, I was pretty impressed. Now in my first video, I had the locked front uh, differential. I had the Vetera locker in there. And after that run, I did take that locker out of the front end and put one million weight diff fluid with these stock differential gears in the front end. Simply because this vehicle does hop a good bit. And when I mean hop, I mean the front tires actually hop up and down when you're trying to turn. And I know that's a common thing to happen to uh, locked crawlers, but with the flexible plastics in the front eight arms and uh, this being independent front, front suspension on this vehicle, it was quite significant and um, a little odd to me. It, it just bugged me. So anyway, with the one million weight diff fluid in the front end, it's almost locked, but there is a little bit of slippage for when you're turning. And it did tighten up the turning radius of this vehicle a little bit and also uh, made it a little easier to drive at speed. So, um, you know, this vehicle was specifically built to crawl and go up rocks. And I'm going to show you some video footage of this thing on the rocks uh, along with my best friend Scott Bray at Mayhem RC. He's, uh, he joined me in this video. Um, so you guys can see how these things do. He purposely built his rock rate at the same time I did for the rocks and uh, pleasantly surprised at the outcome. We have very very minimal upgrades in this vehicle and it's doing well. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll get to running footage. As you can see, these things do crawl. They ascend quite well. And um, yeah, um, they're very stable on vertical inclines. They're, uh, you know, I've got, I've messed around with a couple of different crawlers. I'm no crawler expert by any means, but SDX 10 to a uh, Axial Yeti and a Traction Hobby Jeep Founder 1.8 scale crawler. Um, and I've played around with uh, those vehicles on climbing this same spot. And I can tell you that almost everything that you try to take up that rock flips backwards almost every time. You have to, you can get up it, but it ain't easy. With this vehicle, it almost made uh, it effortless. 
every time you attempted to go up this rock, it would um, it would go straight up it. You know, I picked that rock specifically because nothing else I've tried has been very successful. So, uh, yeah, pretty amazing. I'm really, really happy with this thing. Uh, it is my go-to vehicle for climbing rocks now. And um, the, only, the only changes I've made since my first video is that open front diff uh, with the one million weight diff hole. And then I did put a T-bone skid on the bottom, which took quite a bit of use. Um, and that's just a piece of plexiglass that I cut uh, for the front end because I don't like the T-bone bumper because it does affect approach angles. I like the fact that this thing literally, you can hit rocks almost head on and they're gonna hit the tires before they hit anything else. So anyway, that's just a preference there. But that'll do it for this video, guys. Just wanna share with you guys the progress on the Losey Rock Ray. I've got a few more upgrades coming down the road just because that's who I am and I'll keep you guys tuned. So as always, like and subscribe to Shoe Fits, my friends, and have yourself a great day.